Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for stopping by. We really enjoy you guys all uh, taking time out of your day to watch our content. Um, if you guys enjoy what you're watching, please make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell. Um, we really, really want to make sure that you guys are staying up to date with what we got going on. But as uh, far as today goes, I will be um, starting all the spot welding on the firewall. Um, I may start getting the wheel wells assembled if I can get out here after doing this desk. So but yeah, I'm gonna start doing some welding in here. I'm gonna wait for Chris to get back to um, knock out the floor supports that are right there that we were talking about um, yesterday. And besides that, you know, got a pretty busy day and hopefully we can get this thing squared up and um, get out of here by the end of the week. Um, so yeah, stay tuned and we'll get the next video going, we'll get the time lapse running and uh, that way you guys can see what we got going on today. All right, guys, we are done welding the first portion of the floor. Um, we're gonna start getting this grinded down. Actually, I may do that today, I don't know yet. You see all the spot welds all through here. The floor is completely secure now. We just gotta get up in the firewall up there. And then uh, obviously the back side um, and the engine bay all finished, but uh, yeah, moving right along. And I also, I don't know if you can see on the time lapse, let's walk in here real quick. I got the desk put in. I'm going to work on getting the, um, the echoing taken care of in here, but the desk and then got the dual monitors put back. Um, I highly recommend anybody that's doing any type of computer work, definitely do a dual monitor setup. Um, super, super easy to do and even easier to work when you're uh, when you're getting all your editing and trading which is what I do done so highly recommend the dual monitors but uh, yeah it's coming along pretty good Let's see the couch got the TV sitting there just need to get the get the mount put up but you know it's flowing you know I do want to do some type of backdrop back here um, some big wall decals just trying to figure out which ones i want to do but uh yeah you know moving right along i'm gonna get some grinding done maybe some more welding and uh stay tuned i'll keep you guys updated All right, guys, you can see I'm starting to get this grinding down from the time lapse. Um, so far, it's going so smooth. Um, obviously, we're still moving in here, so the little air compressor is all that I have right now until we get the other one from the house or pick up another one. But uh, slowly getting all the grinding done. I was able to get the door jam all ground down. So, moving right along. 
Um, just want to knock that floor down real quick, all those grinds, and then uh, get into the firewall and uh, inner fender. You can see all that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep on moving along. So stay tuned. We're going to start the welding on the firewall. Get this tip cleaned off. One thing about all this stuff, I want you guys' stuff to last. You got to keep it maintained. But, uh, yeah, I've always been pretty big, been pretty big with that. You know, maintenance of all my equipment, tools, cars. Same thing, so as you see, it's all cleaned off. But uh, let me get in here and start welding. Let's see if I can get an angle for you guys. There you go, I think that'll work. All right, I'm gonna pop on this time lapse real quick. Alright guys, so that was just the drilling quarter inch drill bit. Get all these holes. Um, I'm going to tap this down real quick. Sorry, I got to turn this music down so YouTube doesn't flag this. Hold on, where is it at? Come on. Hold on. Sorry guys. Alright, so I'm going to hammer this down real quick. I want that nice tight uh, fit in between the two pieces of metal. That way it doesn't come apart, especially on these floors. I'm going to get this welded up real quick and show you guys when I'm all finished. those tight take out these screws and you can see it's all nice and tight now I'll plug these two other little holes that the screws made all right guys there's that there's some other little hammering Missed a couple up here.
All right. Sorry guys. All right, so you can see there was a hole here for the screws, kind of like this one's holding this one together. So I'm gonna do some more right there. We did all down there. So I'm gonna do the same thing right here, just get these all nice and tidy. And uh, let me set this camera up real quick, throw the time lapse back on and keep you guys in the loop. All right, guys, finished welding inside the firewall. Um, have a couple of screws I need to take out and uh, finish weld on the inside of the firewall, which needs to be welded back in and ground down here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So all these little holes were screws from the back side, so I need to weld those in from both sides, grind them back down clean. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. Take all the existing screws out, everything's held up. And uh, so I'll throw a time lapse, get everything cleaned up, show you guys the finished result. I don't think I'm gonna, I may start grinding, I don't know yet, so we'll see. Um, let me get out of here, get some dinner. Stomach's starting to hurt, but uh, yeah, you know, I've got a lot of good progress today, you know, knowing that it's just me. You know, it'll be nice to have Chris back tomorrow, getting this stuff taken care of. You know, I really think we're gonna be able to have this thing knocked out by Friday and uh, hopefully shipped out maybe Monday or Tuesday. Um, I'm pretty sure we can get a buyer by, you know, over the weekend, maybe Monday. So uh, stay tuned and throw this time lapse back on and get this thing knocked out. All right, guys, it is a wrap on uh, getting the grinding and the welding done on the firewall inside and out. Let you take a look at what we got. Do a little touch up paint. Make sure it's all presentable when it gets to the new client. Um, you can see I got some welds to do over there. Or sorry, not welds, grinding. Same thing with over there. You know, besides that, came out good. Um, we do gotta get this thing flipped over on the bottom side to get the all the welding done down there. But you can see, you know, 
nice and clean. Um, I'm not gonna worry about touching all the paint primer up in here until we're completely finished. There's some stuff over there, the kicker panel, driver kicker. But uh, besides that, you know, everything came together pretty good. Um, windshield frame, I don't know if you guys noticed in the previous videos, uh, we did do rib nuts on this windshield frame. So this windshield frame can come out. It's a beautiful part, perfect fit for the windshield frame along the door. Um, this thing's really starting to come together. Obviously I had some stuff to get done um, in the office and stuff that held me up. But besides that guys, this thing's flowing. I'm excited about it. You know, not bad for around 10 days worth of work. Um, you know, the goal here in the next month or so is to get these things knocked out in about six to seven days. Um, it's just trying to get the little things figured out, but um, we are definitely getting it. And uh, so yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. And like I said, we'll probably be, we'll be starting with the floor, getting this stuff done, those supports, the quarter panels welded in and the wheel wheels, front wheel wheel. So, and then get the hood back on and work on getting this thing rotated to get the welds on the bottom side all done. So if you guys enjoy the videos, make sure you please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. See you later.